Hello again there folks, Tater Cat here. Today I'll be reviewing Witch by Marie Brennan, which is the sequel to Warrior or the Doppelganger series. Apparently it was originally called Doppelganger before they split it into two books. This picks up after what happens at the end of the first one, where Mirai just kind of pops into Starfall and proves to everybody that void magic is a thing. But unfortunately, since her appearance, not everybody agrees with her don't kill the doppelgangers, they can just like fusion dance together, which is kind of actually the method that they use. One of them sings, the other one dances, but kind of fusion dance. So since there are witches higher rank, pretty high rank, like the prom, some of the primes, that don't agree with her, d her suggestion to stop this tradition they've had for a hundred years, they just straight up leave. They refuse to accept the possibility that what she's saying could be true, so they just call mark her an abomination and just straight up leave. So then her existence is just causing a whole bunch of strife and fighting amongst uh, the people of Starfall. And since now she knows what is going, what the purpose of the doppelgangers are, and because some of the primes left going against her, she goes, oh shit, I need to actually go and pick up the doppelganger kids that are out there in the world. They're all, luckily for her, at least they're picking up the ones that they're aware of that are in like hunter schools. So she has to go rush and pick them up before the primes that left do, because obviously they wouldn't do anything good with them. So while that's going on, Eclipse got captured at the end of the first one, I guess. I don't remember. And it turns out that he got captured by one of the primes that left Starfall and forces him into a blood oath of you get to hunt and kill Mirai. A blood oath is the, a witch does a spell that binds them to this promise that they make and if you do not do it in some a certain indistinguished amount of time Basically, it winds up being like a, a scar on your wrist, depending on like what element the witch is that's casting the spell changes the color. So that's just a minor detail. But if you break your oath, then this scar just opens and you bleed to death. So that's fun. So, so Eclipse, not obviously wanting to kill me, Ray is trying to figure out a way that he can get out of it, he, through Mirei, and the witches who stayed are trying to figure out how do you break a blood oath, or how do you get out of a blood oath, while they're also studying Mirei's void magic, because none of them have been ever able to use void magic before. She's the first one, because she's fused with the doppelganger. With her doppelganger. So it's mostly just following this big upheaval. It winds up kind of becoming like, I guess you can call it a civil war when it's which is against their own people in their own country. So I guess it's yeah, it's Starfall winds up in a in a civil war, and Mirai is trying to run all over the place trying to pick up these kids to make sure they don't get axed because they're just kids. Obviously, she doesn't want them to get murdered. More of, she doesn't want them to fall into the the other Prime's hands that would possibly do harm to them. Because as the first book said, you can't kill a, um, a witch with a living doppelganger, and you can't kill a doppelganger with a living witch, half. But Mira is running all over the place trying to find those kids to make sure that they're in a safe place and can possibly do this, begin the same kind of education of like, 
here is your other half. Now become friends or something so they can wind up fusing together at some point and being prodded and studied and also trying to figure out how he, so Eclipse doesn't have to fucking drop dead from not killing her and trying to keep everything from abrupt from like exploding into this big ugly battle so there's a lot going on in this one I definitely did enjoy the Doppelganger series I know it took me forever to finish this one and it has nothing to do against the book I like the book they're good books but unfortunately my depression was suddenly like hey guess what you can't focus on anything that doesn't have pictures in it so manga was really the only thing I could read but I'm finally getting back into reading novels and you know stuff with like walls of text so definitely both of the books four out of five I'd recommend them these are actually things I would read again so that's always a good thing too I have no idea what I will read next but I'm gonna finish at least the, the manga series that I started because it's only three books long don't know what I'll read next novel wise but you'll see when I finally post it like subscribe and all that noise I'll see you in the next one folks later